Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Brendan, and I'm back with another video tutorial here for you guys today. Uh, we have Altus Life 4.0. Now, this was released a while ago when Tonic originally quit the development of Altus Life, and then Asukia then uh, took that back up. And some things have changed. Uh, you have to do some certain extra things for this to work, and a lot of the errors that you guys have getting or have been getting were the you know please wait client setting up or whatever that that error specifically and this video will basically it's because you guys were downloading the Altus Life 4.0 and I realized that and I couldn't really find a download version for the previous versions of Altus Life so now I'm just deciding to make a whole new tutorial for it okay so here we are this can be the dedicated box setup we got Windows Server 2012 now here we have a little we have a little uh, zip that I compiled for you guys to make this as easy as possible for you guys. So in here we'll have Steam. So we have the Steam CMD. So right off the bat, we're just going to go create a new folder called it Arma 3 Server. Okay. And in that folder, we're just going to simply drag the Steam CMD over there. All right. Now next step, we're going to run that. It's going to download all of its good stuff. Okay. So first things first is you need, I believe, a Steam account with Arma 3 on it. So I'm just going to be logging into mine. Note, I will not be showing this. Of course, again, I already showed this in my previous videos, if you've seen them. And, you know, the password, like I said, the password does show. So um, I'll be right back probably with that. And then you just see the blink Steam console. What you want to do is you basically want to get, you want to type in this command, app underscore update. And then you want to type in the following numbers, which are two, three, uh, well, <laughs> my bad, two, three, three, seven, eight, zero. Okay. Now with that, that'll start downloading the Arma 3 server. And I'll probably skip forward this, you know, ahead of this downloading. Uh, we can successfully close this out. Um, you don't need it no longer. And then I'm just going to rename this because I know I spelt it wrong. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So in here, you'll notice you'll see all this. You want to go into Steam Apps, Common, Armor 3 Server, and there you go. Here's the Armor 3 Server. Okay. Now, if we go back to that little WinRAR file of mine, you can see that I have a few things for you. First thing, server. This is all the stuff that goes in here in this folder. So basically, you copy all that and you drag that. Okay. Now, my first assumption is, and this is usually what happens on Windows servers or even just a Windows, if you right click this properties. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, well, sometimes copying it from a zip like this and just dragging in, you'll get, uh, when you right click it, it'll say, and click properties, it'll say like blocked by security reasons or whatever, and you have to do that for all the files. Yes, I know it's a pain, but that sometimes happens. So if it does happen to you, you can check by just checking these two DLLs, and then you can really pretty much assume it could be for the rest. Now, you can't just drag this in, however. You have to move this into the MP missions. That's very specific. All right. And then with that, uh, We'll be using TADST for this again. I know some people said you could just do it, but you can do it however way you want. This is just to make it an easy, simple way for people to do this. Um, okay. So you need a few requirements. Uh, as you can see here, you got the EXE2B requirements, which is this, which is also included. So if you don't know if this is installed or not, you need to run that EXE. Um, and then we have the MySQL, which is the little uh, web installer here that we have. Okay, and basically what this allows you to do is this allows you to just install. See, now it's not going to show me this time, but basically you can, it'll allow you to select the MySQL server and the MySQL client, and then you can basically install those two things alone, and this little exe will run you through that, or the MSI, my bad. And then we have Poseidon tools. I should just drag them out here, okay, and you can actually install it. To where you could just, whenever you want to open up, uh, let's just say, like one of these files or whatever, you can just, it makes it really easy. So you just open up the install here. 
And, you know, all this looks great, you know, as long as it says ready to proceed down here. Uh, I suggest you uncheck this, click select all, because you could see all the files, right? And then click register. Okay, see, so that means it's installed it, installation done, yes. Okay. So, now you can see, however, when you go to open this, it'll open it in here. And it's all nice and organized, color-coded, and when you try to type in some code, it, like, it'll have it for you and everything. It's perfect. Okay. So, there you go. That's your little Poseidon tools which, in which we can use to edit the Armor 3 files. Or the Ultis Life files, my bad. Alrighty, so once you install the MySQL server and the client, and then you've, want, you've also installed this because EXTDB needs this now, um, we have to go to actually EXTDB and we need to set that database information up. Now, it's going to be dependent on uh, your own information, so I'm not really going to set this up, but I'll show you where to change the information. So you'll go down and you'll see Altus Life here, and you'll see this is the name of the database. All right, and then this is the username. They like maybe it's through a hosting company or whatever you bought a MySQL server, whatever it is. That's the username of it that you used to connect, and the password, and then the IP. That's all you need to know for that. Okay. Uh, in this scenario, I think I can just go like this. I'm gonna be obviously blurring out the password. <laughs> okay. So, with that, once you change the information as you needed, you can just simply connect to it using your MySQL client, which is the MySQL Workbench. Alrighty, so now once we have that, you're going to simply add a new MySQL connection to your MySQL Workbench. Uh, once you open up the program, you go to this little plus here, click that little plus, and as you'll see here, you'll have the connection name, which doesn't really matter. It's just It's just a friendly little name that pops up here. It doesn't necessarily matter at all to the connection details so name it whatever you want then you have the host name here which is the IP of the MySQL server then the port of the MySQL server username and and then you can in the vault you can store the password for it as well and then you basically once you're done with all that you click OK and then I'll get back to you guys once we're all nice and logged in now to connect however you have to just click on the little square and you'll notice that it should say something like this and within no time, you're in your little MySQL workbench. Uh, create schema. Okay, and that schema uh, by default is, let's look in our files here, shall we? So in here in our files, if you're to go into here, you can see database name is Arm3Life. All right. So this is if you already, like, you don't have a database or whatever, and you need to create one pretty much. To do is simply type in this Arma 3 Life. And this is basically to create a new database like I said. If you don't already if you already have one don't worry about the step but you will need to change in the file what it says according to the database. So here we're creating Arma 3 Life. Alright. Now with that we're going to basically uh, go to query here. And with this query we're going to go back to our little handy dandy SQL file that I was give that I gave you guys and drag that out. And um, I'm gonna edit it with Notepad Plus Plus. You can edit it with whatever, it doesn't matter. Basically, as you can see, this is however this line's gonna be gone, but you just change use to whatever your database name is. And you can you just copy all that and you can then go to here, paste it in the quarry. So then you just paste it in here, which all I did by the bad is just click up this little tab here. And I just paste it in here. You see, use Armor 3 Life. And then with that, you just click this little lightning bolt. And you should see all those green check marks. If you see all those, you usually everything's okay. And it means it has created everything. So as you can see, it's all done. Now if I were to go here and refresh that, you can see I got all the tables. Um, See, I got uh, like the gangs, houses wanted, all that good stuff, and the stored procedures. Okay. Now with that, um, you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, now we're going to go up into the TASD setup, in which we 
set up data stay here. So double click that. All right, so server file. Seems easy enough. It should open it up already in wherever it is, and you just click that. Okay, server name has. If I can even spell today, tutorial. Okay, I'm just going to make a test. All right, so first we disable voting and make it persistent battlefield. That's important. Uh, missions, make it just double click that. Okay, mods, click those two. And boom, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can fiddle around with all this other stuff if you really want to, but if you really want the basic, also you should make an ad admin password, yes. Um, and, you know, change the players to whatever the hell you want it to be. And then, once you do that, you just click launch. And if everything's correct, your server should start up fine, so then I'll meet you guys in Arma 3 here. Once you've done that, you know, you know, whatever, menu screen, multiplayer. Okay, now I'm basically going to go remote, and you're going to type in the server IP. With okay. Now you should see, you know, a little server here. I'm just going to join using my password test. Okay. Civilians, if you can't go in cops first, because you're not, probably not whitelisted, and you're not in the database, so. Just go on civs, go on civ1, and this is me just testing it. See if what I did works. <clears throat> yeah, I know I don't post videos that often, and, you know, I'm sorry for that. I wish I had more time, but, you know, then again, I'm not really that much of a dedicated YouTuber or YouTuber all that much, so just, you know, I try to throw out a video here and there, but this one had to be done. So in that case... Okay. Uh, now with that, just click continue. And there you go. And with that, you got the new Ultis Live 4.0. Which I have to say, it's pretty impressive. I mean, they got the new little uh, menu on the sign on the right hand side there. You got, I mean, everything's already, you know, it's already there for you. But, you know, I like the nice little right hand side menu but you also got persistent wanted system now by the way that's one of the newest features in this and also the permanent gangs and stuff like that so with that now I'm going to teach you how to you know just go in the database and uh, you know change like the cop level and stuff like that real quick so I'll see you guys there in a second Okay, so unsure why this is not really full screen here, which is weird. Interesting. Okay, we'll just do this. All right, so now if we go to players, now that you've been added to the database here, you'll see your little name, your player ID, your bank account, of which you can obviously add more money. Make sure you're logged out, by the way. Make sure you're, like, in the lobby or you're disconnected from the server. You can change the amount here. You know, let's just say 500000 and then with that, you can just basically click away or just stuff like that, and you should see a little button that says apply here. Click apply. See that, and then just click apply. There you go. Um, that's how you change the money. Cop level, obviously, right here. You just type whatever number. I think it goes up to nine, but I'm not sure. So you can just, you know, make yourself a cop. Click apply, you know. And you can do multiple stuff. Like, you could just be like, oh, I want him to have 50 bucks here. I want him to have 700,000 here. I want him to have a cop level three, and I want him to have a medic level one. I want him to be admin level three stuff like that and then you can just click apply and it'll do all that stuff for you and there you go so you change admin level also apparently there's donator level as well so you can change all that stuff and it's all very simplified 
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was fast and brief, but that's pre it's pretty much if you're coming back from one of my previous tutorials. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.